Hello everyone, ARG back with some more Franchise Hockey Manager 8. And today in the world of Alternate Universe Future Aki, we have the Ottawa Senators as fourth in the East. And with eight games left to go in the regular season, uh, I think we are in a decent spot to be in the playoffs, but nothing is certain. <clears throat> So today we are going to go ahead and play the rest of the regular season and then we'll see what happens. We'll see how far in I am. Uh, we'll see if I do the playoffs as well. Uh, nothing is set in stone at the moment. So we have a few injuries. Uh, really we have, you know, four guys in Belleville that are hurt and then we have Thomas Shabbat that's day to day. So Shabbat should be coming back here pretty soon. Um, looks like we have an omen and home against the Columbus Blue Jackets to open up the start of April here. So it, it is a true omen and home, uh, as in there's no day off in between. It's, uh, you know, we're playing at home and then we're playing away the next day. So that's going to be pretty much that. All right, so the Columbus Blue Jackets are 30, 39, and 5. That's good for 14th in the East. They are not going to be in the playoffs. We are 0-1 against Columbus. We did lose 3 nothing at home against them earlier this season. So hopefully we can turn things around here. All right, so let's get underway. Uh, the faster I go, the better chance that we have that I'm going to do all of the playoffs as well. All right, so Columbus in town. All right. Oh, God, again. So there's the bug with the players again, and I had it before the last stream, too, and I had to fix it, and I didn't catch this one in time. So I'm sorry we're going to have, you know, crappy pictures for this particular Session here. So Elvis Merzlikins is going to be a net for Columbus. We're going to go with Philip Gustafsson, of course, as usual. I want to say a very heartfelt go, sans go. We won 4 3 in overtime slash shootout, so that is a victory for the Suns. We were outshot in this game 42 to 30. Brady Kachuk was the first star of the game. He had a goal in an assist. Uh, Tim Burney was the second star with a goal and Drake Batterson was the third star with a goal in an assist. We had a sellout crowd in Ottawa. 17,000 right on the dot yet again. Seems like we have had a lot of sellout crowds. God, we wish that was the case in real life. All right, so Columbus scored twice in the first period. It was 2 nothing at that point, and then Drake Batterson scored from Brady Kachuk and Dougie Hamilton. It was 2-1 Columbus after one. Then in the second period, Columbus made it 3-1, and then Mason Shaw scored from Tim Stutzel and Neil Pionk. It was 3-2 Columbus after two. Then in the third period, Patrick Kane scored on the power play from Eric Brandstrom and Tim Stutzel to tie the game. It was tied at three. <coughs> We also had a fight between Nino Niedretter and Corson Kuhlmans, so they got into a scrap. And then in overtime, Brady Kachuk, the captain, played the hero from Drake Batterson and Dougie Hamilton, and that was the final score, 4-3 win in overtime. So Patrick Nimeth has been put on waivers by the Flyers. Ooh, Brad Larson's job is in jeopardy now that we beat him. Uh, so Columbus is now 30, 39, and 6. So Brad Larson might, might lose his coaching gig. Uh, Victor Enman is out for four weeks after suffering a sprained UCL. All right. So should be back uh, during the, the playoffs. 
Uh, Isaac Bedivo is back from suspension in Montreal, back in the lineup. Brad Marchand has reached 400 goals in his career. He had two goals and an assist against St. Louis. Brad Marchand is 35 years old and he is a three and out of star player. And Eugene Melnick is happy with my work. We did have a really good month of March, including yesterday's win. We went 13 2 and 1. So, really good month that put us back into the mix here. And now we are in Columbus. So, that's the second uh, game of the back to back against Columbus. Uh, we just won 4 3 against them. So, let's go ahead and do this. <clears throat> we already know what's going on. Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Suns. Daniel Tarasov is going to be in net for Columbus. And of course, as usual, go Suns, go. Let's beat them on the road as well. A 7-4 victory for the Suns. So mission accomplished. We got two points on the road in Columbus. This time we outshot Columbus 42 to 38. Patrick Kane was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Juraj Lavkowski was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Brady Kachuk was the third star with two assists. Jacob Bernard Ducker opened up the scoring in the first period. That was a short-ended goal from Drake Batterson and Brady Kachuk. It was 1-0 Ottawa at, at that point. Then Columbus scored to tie the game. Then Josh Norris scored from Patrick Kane and Artem Zub. It was 2-1 Ottawa. Then Columbus scored twice, made it 3-2. And before the end of the period, Juraj Slavkowski scored his 20th of the season from Dougie Hamilton and Parker Kelly. It was tied at 3 after 1. We already knew we had an offensive game on our hands here. Nobody scored in the second period and then the offense took back again in the third period columbus scored to take a 4-3 lead and then we scored four unanswered goals nino needreder scored from uraj slavkowski and neil pionk mason Shaw scored on the power play from uraj slavkowski and patrick kane then patrick kane scored his 30th from brady kachuk and josh norris and then roby yarventi scored in an empty net that was his fifth of the season from artem zub and tim stutzel it was a 7-4 victory Ooh, look at us. I think we, uh, yeah, we are top of our division. Not the conference, but we are top of our division now. Oh, we're talking. All right, McKenzie and Twistle got suspended in Chicago. He's going to miss one game. And Thomas Shabbat is ahead of schedule, so he might be coming back soon, which would be great. We have a couple days off and then we're going to be hosting the Buffalo Sabres. Might give Thomas Shabbat the time to come back to action. That would be great. Ooh, lots of players put on waivers. So Jimmy Alexiak is one of them. Alexander Wenberg is another one. Jason Dickinson. Wow. Jonas Rungberg. Miles Wood and Riley Nash. Now Dickinson might interest me. I might not have the money to pay him though. Uh, nah, I don't need him. He's more of a grinder. He's uh, one of those guys that has like nice star ratings but he's really more of a grinder i have plenty of those type of players so i don't need him all right miles wood is has been waived as we saw oh tough season for miles wood yeah i'm not gonna claim him dickinson available as we saw and wenberg also available as we saw as well i'm not gonna claim anybody i don't have a whole lot of extra cash anyway or extra room on the cap i should say so we're just gonna pass. We will gently pass. Ooh, so Brad Larson got fired with just a handful of games left to go in the regular season. So Brad Larson lost his job. Yarko Rutu, of all people, one of my least favorite sense player ever, is now the coach in Columbus. 
Uh, Entwistle is back from suspension in Chicago, and Thomas Shabbat is almost back. All right, we are hosting uh, Buffalo now. So Sabres are 43, 23, and 10. That's good for fourth in the East. We are 0-2 against Buffalo this season. We have not beaten them, not even once. All right, Yuko Pekka Lukonen is going to be in net for Buffalo. We're going to go with Matt Murray. And of course, as usual, I want to see. Go, Suns, go. And we won this one 5 3. All right, so we at least saved face a little bit and we didn't get swept in the regular season series against Buffalo. A nice 5 3 victory at home against the Sabres. We outshot the Sabres 39 to 35. Drake Batterson was the first out of the game, he had three assists. Uh, Jack Quinn was the second star with a goal, and Doug Hamilton was the third star with two assists. 17,000 uh, fans in the stands right on the dot. Buffalo scored twice in the first period. They were up 2 nothing after one. Then we tied the game in the second period. Brady Kachuk scored from Drake Batterson and Doug Hamilton, and then Brady Kachuk again short-handed from Drake Batterson and Artem Zub, 2-2 two -two after two. And in the third period, Roby Yarventy scored from Igor Sokolov and Doug Hamilton, made it 3 2. Then uh, Buffalo tied the game. And then Tim Stutzel scored his 40th of the season from Drake Batterson and Mason Shaw. That was a game winner. It was 4 3. And then Nino Niedreder would add a goal from Alex Formenton and Juraj Lefkowski. 5 3, the final score. All right. Your Roby Yarventy improves at center. All right, and uh, we're going to go ahead and sim, and then the very next day we are going to be in Pittsburgh to play against the Pens. <clears throat> All right, so Pittsburgh is 42, 25, and 9. That's good for fifth in the East. We are 1 0 oh, 1 against Pittsburgh this season. Let's make it a winning record. Philip Gustafsson is going to be in net for us. Tristan Jari is going to be in net for Pittsburgh. And go, Sens, go. A 5-4 overtime slash shootout win for the Sens. So we went into Pittsburgh's barn and we beat them. We all shot Pittsburgh 41-38. to Patrick Kane was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Sidney Crosby was the second star with two goals. And Tim Stutzel was the third star with two assists. Alright, Angus Crookshank opened up the scoring in the first, and that was his 15th of the season from Patrick Kane and Lassie Thompson. It was 1-0 Sands, but then Pittsburgh scored twice. It was 2-1 Pittsburgh after one. Then in the second period, they added another goal, made it 3-1, and then Josh Norris scored from Tim Stutzel and Patrick Kane, made it 3-2, then Pittsburgh scored again. Made it 4-2, and then Eric Brandstrom brought us back to within one from Tim Stutzel and Igor Sokolov. It was a 4-3 uh, Pittsburgh lead after two. And in the third period, Eric Brandstrom scored his 15th of the season from Neil Pionk and Patrick Kane. We were tied at four. That went to overtime, and Drake Batterson did score in overtime from Brady Kachuk and Dougie Hamilton. That's a 5-4 win in OT for the Suns. We are looking mighty sexy right now with all those W's that are piling up. All right, Alex the Brink Cat extends his point streak to 16 games with a goal and an assist against Seattle. Kevin Fiala lights the lamp. He had a hat trick against the Oilers. And Thomas Shabbat is completely recovered. Welcome back to the lineup, buddy. Right, one more day off, and then we're going to be hosting the Washington Capitals, who are having a disastrous season. Probably not the way that Ovechkin wants to end his career, I would gather. Uh, Oliver Ekman Larson played in his thousandth game in Vancouver. Didn't get a point. That happened against Chicago. Oliver Ekman Larson is 32 years old, and he is a three star player. Alex Dobrynkat's point streak ended at 16 games. He was held scoreless against the Canucks in that same game. All right, Washington in town. They are 25, 46, and 7. That's good for a dead last in the East. We are 1-1 one one against uh, Washington this season. 
Vitek Vanessek is going to be a net for Washington. We're going to go with Philip Gustafsson and, of course, go Sans go. And a 5-2 win for the Sens. So that's kind of what we want. We want to go into the playoffs uh, with some momentum, right? We want to be winning games. We want to roll on all cylinders and insert all the cliches here. That's what we want to do. All right, so we outshot Washington 44-23 to in that one. Lassie Thompson was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Patrick Kane was the second star with two goals. And Tim Stutzel was the third star with two assists. Another set-out crowd in Ottawa. Patrick Kane opened up the scoring in the first. That was a power play goal from Tim Sutzel and Lassie Thompson. Then Washington tied the game, and then we scored two more goals. Roby Yarvinty scored from Lassie Thompson and Alex Formenton, and then Lassie Thompson scored his 10th of the season from Drake Batterson and Mason Shaw. 3-1 Ottawa after one. Then in the second period, Nino Niedreder scored from Doug Hamilton and Tim Stutzel, made it 4-1 Ottawa. And then there were a lot of penalties in the second period as well, as I can see. Then in the third period, Washington scored. It was still 4-2 Ottawa. And then Patrick Kane scored in an empty net from Nino Niedreder and Shane Pinto, made it 5-2. That was the end of the game. A nice 5-2 win at home against the Caps. Alex Formanton converted to center, so he is now a center and not a left winger anymore. Alright, so we have a few days off here and then we're going to be visiting the Leafs in Toronto. Sebastian Ao has racked up 600 points in his career. He had a goal and two assists against Tampa Bay. Sebastian Ao is 26 years old and he is a four and a half star player. Mitch Marner is day to day. Uh, might miss the game against us, actually. Morgan Riley extends his assist streak to eight games. He had an assist against Buffalo. Taylor Hall has a strong game in Boston. He had four assists against Colorado. Ooh, Steve Eiserman might get canned as the GM of the Red Wings. I don't think that would happen in real life, but in the game, there is no name recognition or nothing like that, so Steve Eiserman might be out. Red Wings are 32, 39, and 7, apparently not good enough, so Eiserman might be. <coughs> oh, get out of here! Suspension over for Greenway, so Jordan Greenway is back in the lineup in Minnesota after serving his suspension. A couple more days off here. Right, Nick Liddy has played in his thousand game in his career. Didn't get a point that happened against Boston. Nick Liddy is 33 years old and a three and a half star defenseman. Alright, we're in Toronto. Now the Leafs are 47, 26, and 7. That's good for third in the East. We are 3 0 against Toronto this season. We have a perfect record against them. I would love to keep this a perfect record. So, how about we do just that? We go in Toronto, we just play our game, win the game. That would be really nice. Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Sands. Joseph Wall is going to be in net for Toronto. Go, Sands, go. Oh, we lost that one, 4-3. I think that's our first loss in April. So 4-3 loss in Toronto. Uh, we outshot Toronto 41 to 27. Uh, Pontus Omberg was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Patrick Kane was the second star with two assists. And Ty Voigt was the third star with an assist. Josh Norris opened up the scoring in the first from Artem Zub, then Toronto scored twice, made it 2-1 Toronto, and then Tim Stutzel scored on the power play from Patrick Kane and Nino Niedreder, tied at two here after one. Then in the second period, Toronto scored twice, so they were up 4-2. 
Then in the third period, Tim Suso scored from Dougie Hamilton and Patrick Kane. It was 4-3 Toronto. We still had 4 minutes and 24 seconds left to go, but we just couldn't tie the game. We ran out of gas, and the two points eluded us. They went into Toronto's camp. Oh, Josh Norris got hurt. He's day to day. That's not good right before the playoffs. Hopefully, he's going to be fine soon. Morgan Riley's assist streak ended at eight games. He didn't get a point against us. Tampa Bay loses Nikita Kucherov to injury. Ooh, four weeks out with a strain ACL. So that's going to hurt Tampa Bay. They're also out Victor Edmond to start the playoffs. That could hurt them. Jacob Chikron has a memorable game in Arizona. He had four assists against the San Jose Sharks. Right, what do we have here? All right, let's go ahead and advance one more day, and then we're gonna be in Tampa Bay to play against the Lightning. All right, Mitchell Stevens in Detroit has been put on waivers. Kirill Kaprizov extends his points three to twelve games with an assist against San Jose. Rhett Gardner is suspended in Edmonton. He's gonna miss one game. And as we saw, Stevens has been put on waivers. And we are now in Tampa Bay to face a little bit of a depleted Lightning team here. They have a few injuries, a few key injuries, even. 42-32-6 uh, is their record. They are 8 in the East. They are holding on to, to the last spot. If we beat them in regulation, it gives some hope for the Flyers to maybe sneak in. We are 1-2 and two against Tampa Bay this season. So let's see what happens here. Philip Gustafsson is in net for the Sands. Andre Vasilevsky is in net for Tampa Bay. And of course, go Sands, go. We lost 2 1, so Tampa Bay clinches a playoff spot and Philadelphia does not. Since Philadelphia has no way to come back with enough points. So a 2 1 loss in Tampa Bay here. We were outshot 38 to 32. Fel Haber was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Philip Gustafsson was the second star despite the loss. He had 36 saves in the game. And Mason Shaw was the third star with an assist. Patrick Kane opened up the scoring in the first. That was a power play goal from Thomas Shabbat and Mason Shaw. It was 1-0 Ottawa after 1. Then Tampa Bay scored twice in the second period. It was 2-1 to Tampa Bay at that point, and that score held. We never came back, and we lost 2-1. And Drake Batterson is hurt right before the playoff start. That sounds about right. Every year, man, every year, right around the playoffs, I get uh, players that are hurt, and Drake Batterson is out for two to three months. That sounds about par for the court. Every year, man. Doesn't miss. Thought it was better soon to take three months to recover from a grade two concussion. So we're going to see you next year, Drake. Patrick Kane has achieved 500 goals in his career. So he got his 500 goal in a Suns uniform with uh, his goal against Tampa Bay. Patrick Kane is 35, still a four star player. And Dylan Larkin is suspended in Detroit. He's going to miss seven games. Wow, he's going to miss some games next season, too. All right, so we need to address the Drake Batterson injury. So we're going to put him on the injured list. And we're going to recall somebody. Uh, not sure whom yet. Maybe Ridley Gregg. Yeah, I think I'm going to get Ridley Gregg up. There we go. All right, and the last game of the season is going to be at home. We're going to be hosting the Minnesota Wild. They are 36, 37, and 8. Uh, we are 1 0 against Minnesota this season. Beat them 3 2 in Minnesota. Let's see if we can beat them at home. Last game of the season. Cam Talbot is going to be in net for Minnesota. We're going to go with Matt Murray. Go, Sens, go. Oh, we lost 6-3. We failed to reach 50 wins this season. So a 6-3 loss. So I don't know what to make of that. Like, we had a really great start to the month of April, but we lost our last three games heading into the playoffs. Maybe that's not a good omen. Uh, shots were tied, 34 apiece. Uh, 
what's his name, Brandon, I think, yeah, Brandon Zuem uh, was the first star of the game, he had two assists, Joel Eriksenik was the second star with two goals, and Brogan Rafferty was the third star with a goal and two assists, we had a sellout crowd for this. Nino Niedreder opened up the scoring in the first from Parker Kelly and Eric Brandstrom. It was 1 0 Ottawa, then Minnesota scored twice. It was 2 1 Minnesota after one. Then in the second period, Patrick Kane scored from Jacob Bernard Docker and Mason Shaw. It was tied at two. And then Minnesota scored three times, made it 5 2. Tim Sutzel scored on the power play uh, from Eric Brandstrom and Mason Shaw. It was 5 3 Minnesota after two. Minnesota would add one more goal at the end of the game. Wow, like there were only tens of seconds left. And that was 6-3 and that was the end of the game. So we lost a game. Kirill Kaprizov extends his point streak to 13 games against us. He had a goal. Ooh, the Red Wings can Iserman right at the end of the season. So Steve Iserman is not a GM anymore. He is replaced by Ryan Johnson. Memorable night for Mika Zibanejad. He had a hat-trick three goals against the Devils. P.K. Subban is back from suspension. Back in the lineup for the Devils. Cam Fowler extends his assist streak to eight games with two assists against the Blues. Suspension over for Garner in Edmonton, back in the lineup. Oh, Giordano is planning his retirement at the end of this season. He is 40 years old in a two and a half star defenseman, so Josh Norris might come back right in time for the playoffs. All right, so let's advance here and see whom it is that we are facing. I think we're going to be facing Buffalo in the first round. Noah Delmas has been put on waivers by the Kings. Josh Norris is close to come back. And Ken Appleby has been bought out by the Blackhawks. That's the second uh, goaltender that they bought out, if I remember correctly, this season. All right, so the art nominees are Artemi Panarin, Austin Matthews, and Connor McDavid. The Vizinov uh, uh, nominees are Aiden Hill, Andrei Vasilevsky, and Jacob Markstrom. Norris is going to go between Aaron Eggblad, Thomas Shabbat, and Tyson Murray. So we have a shot here at uh, getting the Norris. Eggblad at 70 points. Shabbat at 53. Yeah, I forget it. And Tyson Berry had 85. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Eggblad is plus 35. Shabbat is plus 48. That's not nothing. Tyson Berry is plus 34. Huh. Calder is going to be between Brett Harrison, Connor Bedard, and Joachim Kemmel. Oh, Kemmel went to the Kraken. Uh, executive of the year nominees Bill Zito in Florida, Brad Traveling in Calgary, and Cal Davidson in Chicago. The Selkie nominees are Elias Lindholm, Jesper Kotkekot, Kenyami, and Mark Stone. Lady Bing between Connor McDavid, Tyson Berry, and Victor Olofsson. Mark Messi Leadership Award, Alex Ovechkin, Morgan Riley, and Patrick Kane. Ooh. The Ted Lindsay is going to be between Artemi Panarin, Austin Matthews, and Connor McDavid. The Jack Adams between Daryl Sutter, Derek King, and Ulf Samuelson. Okay. Uh, looks like Dominic Kubalik and the Maple Leafs are at odds for the next contract. Brandon Montour, same thing, might walk at the end of the season from Philadelphia. And Anthony Manta's not getting a new contract in Washington, apparently. All right. So let's take a look at least at the stats for the entire league, see who finished first and whatnot. So Connor McDavid was the best goal scorer. He had 60 goals. Only two other players had over 50, Matthews and Zibanejad with 55 and 50, 53, respectively. 
Uh, McDavid was the best passer with 86 assists, and of course he, he was the best scorer with 146 points. Matthews 122, Panarin 121, Zibanejad 118, Pasternak 105, Brock Besser 102, Mitch Marner 102, Barkov 101, and Sebastian Ayo 100 were all the 100 point getters. As far as goaltenders go, I'm not. I'm not eh. Too worried about that. All right, so let's advance, uh, and then we're gonna have the playoff three, and we can look at the matchups for the first round. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the playoffs, and then I'm gonna stop right after that. Josh Norris is completely back, so that's good. At least we have Josh Josh Norris to start. All right, so Buffalo is gonna be our matchup in the first round. Let's take a look at the playoff three. Right, so in the West, we have a Vancouver Edmonton first round matchup, v Vegas against Calgary, Winnipeg against Chicago, and St. Louis against the Nashville Predators. In the East, we have Tampa Bay against the Islanders, the Rangers against the Pittsburgh Penguins, Florida against Toronto, and Buffalo against Ottawa. So all of the Canadian teams, save for one, are in the playoffs this year. All right, let's advance this. We're gonna advance one more day. All right, so let's take a look at Buffalo again, see uh, what they look like to start the playoffs. No injuries, so they are lucky. All right, so in net they have uh, Prosvetsov and Lukonen. Uh, on D they have Schult, Pilot, Shea, Dallin, Br Bryson, Meller, Yoki, Aryu. Up front they have Skinner, Uberdo, Tuck, Krebs, Pocket, Cozens, Lemiko, Middlestad, Gambrell, Tatar, Smith, Robinson, Olafsson, and Jack Quinn. Hopefully we can beat Buffalo. So we have home ice advantage. That means that we start the first two games at home. Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Suns. Yuko Pekka Lukonen in net for Buffalo. And of course, go Suns, go! It's playoffs time! Woohoo! Paint in the face and drunk people and whatnot. And we start with a 4 nothing win. We kept Buffalo completely silent. And we ran away with a nice 4 nothing. Oh my god, we outshot. But this is a playoff game, folks, and we outshot Buffalo 27 to 9. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Igor Sokolov was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Alex Formanton was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Roby Yarventy was the third star with a goal and an assist. Set out crowd, of course, for the playoff game in Ottawa. Dougie Hamilton opened up the scoring in the first from Igor Sokolov and Parker Kelly. Then Roby Yarventy from Nino Niedreder and Alex Formanton. And then Alex Formanton from Roby Yarventy and Jacob Bernard Docker. 3 0 Sands after one. Then in the second, Brady Kachuk scored from Igor Sokolov and Josh Norris. 4 0 Sands after two. And of course, that was the end of the game. Wow, nice first game here. Almost a perfect game there. That was pretty cool. Uh, Tanner Pearson in Vancouver had a great game. He had a hat-trick against the Oilers. All right, so in other scores, Winnipeg beat Chicago, Calgary beat Vegas, Nashville beat St. Louis, so Vancouver beat Edmonton. We beat Buffalo, Tampa Bay beat the Islanders, Florida beat Toronto, and Pittsburgh beat the Rangers. All right, we see him one day. Then we're hosting the Sabres again. Hopefully we uh, we can copy and paste that one game that we just played. That would be pretty awesome. Alright. Alright, so Lukanen and Murray in net again for game number two of the of the playoffs. Go Sens go! A 5-2 victory. 
All right, so we won 5-2. We're up 2-0 in the series. We outshot Buffalo 41-27. Josh Norris was the first star of the game. He had a hat-trick, three goals. Angus Crookshank was the second star with two assists. And Artem Zub was the third star with an assist. Another set-out crowd. Josh Norris opened up the scoring in the first from Slavkowski and Angus Crookshank. Then Buffalo tied the game. We had a 1-1 game after one. Robbie, Robbie Yarventy scored on the power play in the second period from Tim Stutzel and Patrick Kane, then Shane Pinto from Angus Kirkshank and Artem Zoo. It was 3 1 Ottawa at that point. Then Buffalo scored, it was 3 2 Ottawa after two. Then in the third period, Josh Norris scored short handed from Neil Pionk and Brady Kachuk. It was 4 2 Ottawa. And then Josh Norris uh, scored in an empty net from Patrick Kane and Thomas Chabot, made it 5 2. And that was the end of the game. 5-2 victory here over the Buffalo Sabres. Alright, strong game for Josh Norris. As we saw, he had a hat trick. That's pretty good. All right, in other news in the NHL, in the playoffs, uh, Winnipeg beat Chicago 4-1. Vegas beat Calgary 3-2, St. Louis beat Nashville, Edmonton beat Vancouver, we beat Buffalo, the Islanders beat Tampa Bay, Florida took a 2-0 lead against Toronto with a 4-3 win, and the Rangers bounce back and tied their series against Pittsburgh with a 5-1 win. So now the series moves to Buffalo. Now if you're kind of, uh, if you're not super familiar with the playoff format and the in Aki, it is a best four out of seven, and the first two games are at home for the best of the two teams. The other two games are on the road, well, on the road for the best team, and then they alternate one game back and forth. All right, so in Buffalo now, let's go ahead and see if we can continue on our streak here. And we're doing that without uh, Drake Batterson too. Matt Murray in net for the Suns. Luconan in net for Buffalo. Go, Suns, go. A 4 2 victory. We're up 3 0 in our series here against Buffalo. We outshot Buffalo 38 27. Alex Formanton was the first out of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Uh, Lamico, Yuho Lamico, was the second star with two assists. And Roby Yarventi was the third star with a goal and an assist. Roby Yarventi is having uh, himself some playoffs here, making a name for himself. Nobody scored in the first, then in the second period, Buffalo scored first, made it 1 0 Buffalo. Then Patrick Kane scored on the power play from Eric Brandstrom and Mason Choi. It was tied at 1. Then Buffalo scored, it was 2 1 Buffalo after 2. But in the third period, we scored three unanswered goals. Roby Yarventi scored from Alex Formenton and Neil Pionk. Alex Formenton scored from Roby Yarventi and Brady Kachuk. And then finally, Tim Stutzel scored on the power play in an empty net from Mason Shaw and Patrick Kane. We have a, ourselves a 4-2 victory and a 3 nothing lead in our series against the Buffalo Sabres. We are one win away from moving to the second round. Right, Igor Afanasev keeps fans on their feet all night in Nashville. He had three goals and an assist in his game against the St. Louis Blues. All right, games across the NHL. Chicago beat Winnipeg. Vegas beat Calgary. Nashville beat St. Louis. Vancouver beat Edmonton. We beat Buffalo. Tampa Bay beat the Islanders. Florida took a 3-0 lead in their series against the Leafs with a 7-0 trashing. And the Rangers beat Pittsburgh and took a 2-1 lead in their series. All right, and we are up 3 nothing in our series against Buffalo, and we are we have every intention to finishing this right now. At least I do. Not that I have much to say about it. Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Sands. Lukonen back in net for Buffalo. Game 4, Sands up 3 nothing. And, oh, we lost in overtime. Buffalo is still alive. A 3-2 loss in overtime. Buffalo outshot us 46 to 40. Uh, Rasmus Dallin was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Patrick Kane was the second star with an assist. And Luconen was the third star with 38 saves. Right, nobody scored in the first. Then 
Buffalo scored in the second period, then we scored twice. Josh Norris from Patrick Kane and Neil Piang. Then Mason Shaw scored on a power play from Tim Stutzel and Thomas Shabbat. 2-1 Ottawa after two. Buffalo tied the game in the third period. It was 2-2. We went to overtime. Nobody scored in the first period of overtime. And near the end of the second period of overtime, Peyton Krebs played the hero with a game-winning goal. Right, Buffalo is still alive. And Juraj Safkowski is hurt, of course, because we are in the playoffs and our good players will get massacred. Ah, he's day to day, that's not too bad. All right, so somewhere else in the NHL, Winnipeg beat Chicago, Vegas beat Calgary, uh, St. Louis beat Nashville, Vancouver beat Edmonton, Buffalo beat us, uh, Islanders beat Tampa Bay, Toronto still alive, they won 4-3, Pittsburgh tied their series with a 3-0 victory against the Rangers. Alright, so we're going to try to eliminate Buffalo on our second try here back at home. All right, Lukonen in net for Buffalo, Matt Murray in net for the Sens. Go, Sens, go. Let's finish it now. Ooh, we lost 6-2. Now it's 3-2. Now we're starting to get nervous. That was a bad game, a 6-2 loss. We outshot Buffalo 36-33. Alex Tuck was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Henry Yokiaryu was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Peyton Krebs was the third star with two goals. Set out crowd yet again, but we lost. All right, so Buffalo scored first in the first period, then we tied the game. Roby Yarventy scored from Alex Formenton and Lassie Thompson. Then Buffalo scored again. It was 2-1 Buffalo after one. Then in the second period, Sam Sutso scored from Josh Norris and Igor Sokolov. It was tied at two, but Buffalo scored twice. It was 4-2 Buffalo after two. And then in the third period, they added two more goals, a 6-2 disgusting loss. And Eric Brands from his hurt because, again, it is the playoffs. So you always get more injuries around the playoffs. The computer doesn't, but you do. All right, so Brandstrom is out for one to two weeks. We have to address that. All right, who are we recalling? Oh, I'm gonna get uh, Minsukov back up. He's done all right when I've called him back up a few times this season. Yes, a couple points. Right, we're going to go ahead and say... Oh, in uh, the other games, Chicago beat Winnipeg. Vegas beat Calgary. I believe that series is over. St. Louis beat Nashville. Edmonton beat Vancouver. Buffalo beat us. Tampa Bay beat the, the Islanders. Toronto is still alive with a 4-3 win. And Pittsburgh took a 3-2 lead in this series with a 5-4 victory over the Rangers. All right, we're going to go back in Buffalo trying to finish this off. It's starting to get tough. We're, we're losing a player a game due to injury. So it's difficult. All right, so I don't care about the scouting. All right, so... All right, Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Sands. Luke Onen in net for Buffalo still. And let's see if we can finish this off yet. 3-1 victory for the Sands. All right, so it was a little bit more difficult than it had to, but we dispatch of the Buffalo Sabres in six games in round number one. And we were outshot 32 to 25 in that one. Thomas Chabot was the first star with a game. He had an assist. Alex Tuck was the second star with an assist. And Alex Formenton was the third star with a goal. Brady Kachuk opened up the scoring in the first from Igor Sokolov and Thomas Chabot. It was 1 0 Sands after one. Then in the second, Angus Crookshank scored from Parker Kelly and Shane Pinto. Made it 2 0. Buffalo scored. And then shortly after, Alex Formenton gave us the two goal lead back from Neil Pionk and Nino Niedrader. We had a 3-1 lead. Nobody scored in the third. That's the end of the game and the end of the series. A 3-1 victory. <clears throat> hmm. 
All right, so the top selling jerseys for Ottawa in April. We have Patrick Kane at the top, Drake Batterson, Thomas Shabbat, Matt Murray, and Sim Stutzel. <clears throat> Let's take a quick look at the development report. Right, sorry about that. Ooh, Slavkowski getting <clears throat> better and better. And the top selling jerseys in the entire NHL for April. Braden Oldby finished first. That's weird. Alright, let's go ahead and continue simming games here. <clears throat> and then we'll see who it is that we are going to face in the second round. I believe it's going to be the Florida Panthers. Maybe not. I am not 100% sure. I did not look at the tree at all. Oh, I have to select a uh, Hall of Fame nominee. All right, so Pat Verbeek, Glenn Wesley, Daniel Sedin. I'll go with Daniel Sedin, I suppose. All right, let's continue to advance here. Yeah, we are facing the Florida Panthers in round number two. We went three and one against Florida during the regular season, so with some luck, we're gonna be able to carry that into the playoff series. Uh, we're playing them tomorrow, so we'll, we'll check tomorrow All right. in case something changes. <clears throat> Alright, Safkowski might be able to play here soon. Alright, let's take a look here. Alright, so Florida has one injury and it's Pierre Olivier uh, Joseph, a defenseman. He's hurt, not gonna play. And he's out one to two weeks. <clears throat> Alright, so the Panthers and net have Spencer Knight and Bobrovsky. Uh, on D, they have Uyghur, Forsling, Carlson, Joseph, Eggblood, Ristolainen, and Kroll. Up front, they have Ernie, Vatrano, Sarilla, Benson, Oremba, Verhege, Lundell, Barkov, Bennett, Eponiemi, Reinhardt, Tippett, Zuclair, and Schwint. Let's hope that we can get through them. And the game is in Ottawa, by the way. All right, Spencer Knight in net for Florida, Matt Murray in net for the Suns. Go, Suns, go. And we start with a 5-2 loss. All right, so we lost 5-2 the first game of the series. Florida outshot us 39-33. Rasmus and was the first out of the game with two assists. Uh, Gustav Forslund was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Anton Lundell was the third star with an assist. We had a sellout crowd. Uh, Florida scored twice in the first period. Then added one more in the second. It was 3-0 Florida after two. They made it 4-0 at the start of the third. Then Tim Stutzel scored from Nino Niedreder and Pavel Mintsukov. Then Shane Pinto from Nino Niedreder and Thomas Shabbat. It was 4-2. And then former Ottawa Senator Anthony Duclair uh, sealed the deal in an empty net near the end of the game. It was a 5-2 loss. All right, so we're down 0-1 in our series against the Florida Panthers. Ooh, Pavel Zaka in St. Louis is out for four months. Oh, I forgot to look at the other matchups. I guess we're going to see them soon enough here. So Zaka is done for the rest of the season with a fractured eye socket, and Slavkowski is almost back and running. All right, so the matchups are Winnipeg and St. Louis, and Vancouver and Vegas in the west, and then Tampa Bay, Pittsburgh, and Florida, Iowa in the east. Now, Winnipeg beat St. Louis, Vegas beat Vancouver, Tampa Bay beat Pittsburgh, and of course, we lost against Florida. Oh, we're going to go ahead and advance one more day. All right, Uriah Sakowski is ready to go. So he will be playing, hopefully. All right, and now game number two. Let's win that one. Let's tie the game so that we at least go in Florida and not already like back against the wall 
Spencer Knight is going to be in net for Florida. Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Sens. Go, Sens, go. And we lost 5-2 again, so that's two 5-2 losses at home in the playoffs. That's not good. We outshot Florida 39-35. to Frank Vetrano was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Alexander Barkov was the second star with three assists. And Spencer Knight was the third star with 37 uh, saves. Another set-out crowd, but we were short again. Patrick Kane opened up the scoring on the power play from Mason Choi and Thomas Chabot. It was 1-0 Ottawa. Then Florida scored twice. 2-1 Florida after one. Then in the second period, they added one more goal. It was 3-1 Florida. Then in the third period, Patrick Kane scored from Thomas Chabot and Dougie Hamilton. We were within one, we believed. But then Florida would add two more goals, and that was the end of the game. So we're going in Florida down 0-2. That's not good. Oh, I forgot to look at the other scores. I'm sorry. It happens. Oh, the World Championship starts today. All right, so we are now in Florida, so hopefully we can reverse the trend here and uh, win both games. Matt Murray and Spencer Knight in it still. Go, Sens, go. A 5-3 win, all right. So we're back in that series. Uh, we were outshot 33 to 29. Patrick Kane was the first out of the game. He had two goals and two assists. Uh, not sure what is it. Sam Oremba was the second star with an assist. And Brady Kachuk was the third star with two assists. All right, so Florida opened up the scoring in the first. Then Patrick Kane tied a game from Brady Kachuk and Dougie Hamilton. Then Florida scored again. It was 2-1 Florida after one. Then in the second period, Igor Sokolov scored from Shane Pinto and Thomas Chabot. It was tied at two. Then Florida scored. It was 3-2 Florida after two. Then in the third period, Tim Sutso scored on the power play from Mason Shaw and Patrick Kane. Tied a the game. Then Thomas Chabot scored on the power play from Patrick Kane and Mason Shaw. And finally, Patrick Kane scored his fifth of the playoffs. That was an empty netter from Brady Kachuk and Artem Zub. 5-3 the final score. All right, we're back in it. We're down 1-2 in the series against Florida. If we can tie the series, I believe in us. If we lose the next game, I think it's pretty much going to be that. Uh, Patrick Liney had a good game at the World Championship with a goal and five assists against Slovakia. And Capo Caco in that same game had three goals and two assists. Eric Brandstrom is feeling better. That'd be great to have him back. I forgot to look at the other scores again. Somebody ought to punish me. Eric Brandstrom recovered already, so he's almost back. All right, game four. We're down 2-1 in the series. A win here would tie the series. That would be huge. So let's do it. Please. Matt Murray in net for the Sens, Spencer Knight in net for Florida, and of course, as usual, go Sens, go, come on, playoffs, woo, and we lost 5-3. We're down 3-1 in the series, uh, it does not bode well. Oh yeah, we were outshot 52-23 in that game, Barkov was the first star of the game, he had a goal and two, two assists, Pavel Mintukov was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Sam Reinhardt was the third star with an assist. Uh, Florida scored first in the first period, then Tim Sutso scored his fifth of, this, uh, of the playoffs on the power play from Patrick Kane and Thomas Chabot, it was 1-1 one, one after 1. Then in the second period, Florida scored. Then we tied the game again. It was Pavel Mintukov from Brady Kachuk and Alex Formanton. Then Florida scored again before the end of the period. They were up 3-2 heading into the third period. We tied the game for the third time. Angus Crookshank from Juraj Slakowski and Pavel Mintukov tied at three. But then Florida scored twice. And that was that. We lost 5-3. One loss away from being eliminated. And Mason Choice hurt because we cannot have nice things. And he's out for one to two months, so we probably won't see him again. All right. Strong game for Matthew Kachuk uh, playing at the World Championship. He had a hat trick against Switzerland. Ooh, Leon Guanke Gawanke is uh, injured for a while for Germany. 
Braden Point is out seven weeks with an injury in Tampa Bay. And Eric Brandstrom is almost recovered, but I'm not sure that it's going to matter. I, I guess I can put him on the injured reserve. And I can recall somebody, but is it really going to matter? Those are the type of philosophical questions that one has to ask. Like, who am I going to recall here? Philip Daou, maybe. Oh, Quinn Olson. Yeah, he had two points in two games. Let's get Quinn. I'm not sure he's going to play. Let's get him back up. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Right. Oh, okay. In the other game, St. Louis beat Winnipeg, Vegas beat Vancouver, and Tampa Bay beat Pittsburgh. I have no idea what that means because I have not been looking at the scores for the other teams. I have been otherwise preoccupied with my own performance. Eric Brandstrom is completely recovered. Let's get him back here in the lineup. Maybe that's going to be the game changer here. Uh, yeah, I don't know that uh, Bernard Docker. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Minsukov. He's the. I don't know. Yeah, let's uh, let's send down Bernard Docker. He hasn't had a great season. All right, we are hosting the Florida Panthers. If we lose this game, this is game over for us for the 2023-2024 season. Spencer Knight is going to be in net, so Matt Murray so in net for the Sens. Go Sens, go. Let's not get eliminated in front of our fans. Oh, no, 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 we didn't. A 9-1 victory. Oh, my. We had a, we had a good game here in the, in the tank. We outshot Florida 47-17. Tim Stutzel was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Roby Yarventy was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Shane Pinto was the third star with a goal and an assist. Sellout crowd left ecstatic about this game. We scored three unanswered goals in the first period. Alex Formenton scored from Eric Brandstrom and Tim Stutzel. Then Juraj Slavkowski scored from Alex Formenton. Roby Yarventy scored his fifth from Thomas Shabbat and Dougie Hamilton. It was 3 nothing Sands after one. Then in the second period, Thomas Shabbat scored from Brady Kachuk and Igor Sokolov, made it 4-0. Then Florida scored, made it 4-1. Then we scored three more goals, Igor Sokolov from Eric Brandstrom and Neil Pion, Tim Stutzel from Alex Formenton and Lassie Thompson, and then Angus Crookshank from Shane Pinto and Roby Yarventy. 7-1 sends after two. We added two more goals in the third, Tim Stutzel from Artem Zub and Dougie Hamilton, and then Shane Pinto from Roby Yarventy and Lassie Thompson. 9-1 shellacking. Thank you very much. I will take it. That was beautiful. Tampa Bay eliminated Pittsburgh, as I saw. And then St. Louis uh, is ahead 3-2, I think, against Winnipeg is what I saw, I believe. All right, let's advance, and then let's play that game in Florida. Let's, let's tie the series at three. Let's make them sweat a little. We just had a statement game. Maybe they're nervous. Maybe not. I don't know. We're in Florida. We need to win. Matt Murray, Spencer Knight still facing each other. Go, Sens, go. Come on, another 9-1 trouncing would really shatter their confidence. Instead, we lost 5-2, and that's the end of our season here. So we got eliminated in six games against the Florida Panthers in the second round. Florida outshot us 29 to 21 in this game. Gustav Forsling was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Alexander Barkov was the second star with two goals. And Anthony Duclair was the third star with a goal and an assist. Juraj Slavkowski scored the first goal of the game from Brady Kachuk and Neil Pionk. Then Florida scored twice. Then Tim Stutzel tied the game from Slavkowski and Brandstrom. It was tied at two. Then Florida scored. It was 3-2 Florida after one. There was a fight between Mackenzie Wigar and Brady Kachuk. The second period, Florida scored, made it 4-2, and then they added one more goal in the third, and that's the season for your Ottawa Senators. Josh Norris got hurt, uh, it doesn't matter, we are game over. So we will not mess with that.
Oh, the Blues beat uh, Winnipeg. All right, so what do we have here? Nathan McKinnon set everything up tonight for Canada. He had four assists against Slovakia. Gabriel Landeskog, at trick again against the Kazakhstan. Victor Olafsson, four assists in that same game. And Nico Sturm got hurt for Germany. Um, let's take a look at the playoff three. All right, so the Western final is going to be between Vegas and St. Louis. And in the East, it's going to be against Tampa Bay and Florida. So we have a Florida, uh, all Florida matchup in the Eastern Conference Finals. St. Louis trying to go for a second cup in a row here. Right, Matsu Kachuk in the World Championships had three goals and an assist against Great Britain. Jack Hughes in that same game had a goal and four assists. <coughs> and Evander Kane had four assists against the Kazakhstan. As far as the playoffs go in the NHL, Tampa Bay beat Florida 4-2. Vegas beat St. Louis 2-1. Big game for Mika Zibanejad for Sweden. He had five goals and two assists against Germany. Viktor Lofsson in that same game had five assists. All right, so, all right. And that's the scoutings, don't really care. Oh, uh, Tampa Bay beat Florida and then St. Louis beat Vegas. Ooh, Tampa Bay leads their series 3-0 against the Florida Panthers and Vegas took a 2-1 lead in their series there. All right, a uh, memorable game for Brock Nelson for the US. He had three goals and an assist against Germany. Oh, Tampa Bay swept the Florida Panthers in the Eastern Conference Finals. They're going to the Stanley Cup Finals. Mason Shaw is feeling better. Well, it's a little too late, buddy. Vegas took a 3-2 lead in their series. Oh, they were leading 3-1. St. Louis won that game, so they're still alive. Memorable game for Evander Kane for Canada. He had a hat trick against the US. Good game for Jesper Bratt uh, for Sweden. He had a hat trick against Finland. World Championship MVP won by Kale Makar. Best goalie Carter Art. Best defenseman Adam Fox. And Canada wins the World Championship. There you go. By beating the US. All right, so Vegas is one win away from meeting up against Tampa Bay in the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, St. Louis won 4-2. They are still alive. They won that second cup here in a row. 4-2 win in Vegas, too. That was a road win that they needed, absolutely. And they got it. All right, so game seven. Meanwhile, Tampa Bay rests, and Vegas wins 5-2 in St. Louis and makes it all the way to the Stanley Cup final against the Tampa Bay Lightning. We have our scouting report here. We're not going to worry about that for now. Right, top setting jerseys for Ottawa, Patrick Kane, Drake Batterson, Thomas Shabbat, Sim Suzo, and Matt Murray. Development report. Mm. Not as great as a couple others. And the best setting jersey in May in the entire NHL was David Pasternak. Makes a little bit more sense. Alright. Oh, Vegas won the first game 2-1. They are up 1-0 in the Stanley Cup Final. Alright. 
so Right, and now I have to I have to vote for the Hall of Fame. Of course I'm gonna vote for Daniel Alfredson, jeez. I'm a sense fan. Come on. There's no shame with what I'm doing. Uh I think Dave Taylor should be in. Henrik Sedin and Daniel Sedin. No, let's put Oh, Henrik Lundqvist, yeah, for sure. There you go. All right, let's continue here and see who wins the cup. Vegas took a 2-0 lead in the Stanley Cup Finals with a 4-0 win in Tampa Bay. However, they lost uh, Jack Eichel for the rest of the Stanley Cup Final with a three-week injury. Strain growing muscle. Oh, Vegas won 4-3 in overtime, so they have a 3 nothing lead in the Stanley Cup Final. I've been extended. Well, thank you, thank you. All right. Is that going to be a sweep? It has a 4 nothing win in the last game. Vegas is the Stanley Cup champions. They beat Tampa Bay in four games in the Stanley Cup Final. They also swept the Canucks. All right, Vegas crown champions. All right. The salary cap has been expanded. Mason shows ready for team practices. Oh, Sebastian Iowa extended with Carolina. A five-year deal. Logan O'Connor will hit free agency. Jason Dickinson will become a free agent as well. And Seattle has put Kelly Yarncroc on the trading block. All right. All right, so uh, the Vegas Golden Knights have won the Stanley Cup, and this is pretty much the end of this stream today. So I am going to go ahead and stop here. Next time out, we're going to do the off-season. We're going to do the draft and all of that cool stuff. So I want to thank you for tuning in here today. And uh, of course, if you're catching this on YouTube later, you like the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you folks next time. Thank you.